Hey, this is a review of the Scorpion XLR420, which I have been using for about 10 months now. I'll have chapters on the timeline for you to jump into the information that you're looking for. I purchased this helmet from Revzilla for $160, then I paid $45 for shipping to the Philippines. Fitment is important. This is an intermediate oval helmet. Let me show you my head. So if we have the same head shape, then we might have the same experience with this helmet. Speaking of helmet experience, let's talk about comfort. My head measures 58 centimeters. Following the sizing guide, I got the size medium, which weighs 1.67 kilos with the speakers, microphone, some wirings, and a plastic clip. The first time I wore this helmet, oh, it was tight on the cheeks. It breaks in perfectly, snug, but comfortable. The Scorpion XOR420 is a comfortable helmet. Padding feels nice and dry even though it's warm outside, though most of the time I wear this with a balaclava. Helmet socks. The weight on the top is concentrated on the middle padding. I wish that the top right and left padding were thicker so it does touch my head for better weight distribution. For us four-eyed people, the grooves on the cheek pads is a big plus. It allows for easy wearing and removal of our glasses. Also, depending on your nose, it could also help support the weight and also reduce the pressure that you get on the side of your head coming from the arms of your glasses. And the strap feels a bit uncomfortable on my neck. Ventilation. To cool down our hot heads, this helmet has three vents. Top vent is either closed or open. The mouth vent can be closed, partially open, and fully open. We have four grooves on the EPS liner to guide the airflow, and of course we have our exhaust vent to suck all that air out. Wearing this helmet in a warm, tropical country is not that bad with all the vents open. It's a 7 out of 10 for me. Now for noise levels, it's not that loud even with all vents open. With the visor up, I do hear a whistling noise at around 45 km per hour. Now the max speed I reached wearing this helmet is just 90 km per hour, so your experience might be different. Aesthetics. This is a chill looking helmet with no signs of aggression. If you love some line work, you would love this. Although not very manly, the graphics on this Namaskara design is beautiful. Some of the paint change colors at different angles. Something people would appreciate on stoplights. For you carbon fiber lovers, the interior of this chain guard has a carbon fiber look. Safety and protection. <laughs> this is a Snell and DOT certified helmet. Snell M2020D is the exact certification which according to a comment by Fortnite is, only wise if you plan to hit a wall, otherwise overly hard for most crashes, which I do not intend to test in real life. To keep the helmet from leaving your head on a crash, you get a reliable but inconvenient double D ring fastener. When the unfortunate time comes, the medics can just pull these tabs so they can easily remove your helmet and save your life. Visibility and the visor. I love how optically accurate this visor is. Check out this comparison.
I do not know where I got this dent and scratches. It probably got hit by a stone or something while I was riding. Since I do take care of this helmet like a baby, I think it is easily scratched. And I think most visors are. The anti-fog works well. It fogs upon putting on your helmet when it's cold, but it disappears shortly after running. The visor is easy to remove but difficult to put back. But once you get used to it, it becomes easier. In the field of view, it's unobstructed. When riding in rain, water does not get into the helmet, thanks to the nice seals and the visor lock. Let's do an exaggerated test. I'm going to pour water with the visor and vents closed. Then I'm going to wipe a tissue inside, see if it gets wet. Conclusion, I'm happy with my purchase. It's a quality and beautifully built helmet. Nothing feels cheap except for the box it came with, which is not very protective. And you get this nice bag. The inside is like microfiber, which I used to wipe my helmet. If you have subscribed already, no need to click on the bell so you get personalized notifications. But if you like random videos that I make, including this video where I teach you how to take care of your helmet, then go ahead and click on the bell. Thanks for watching!